This was the inaugural Soldering On Awards, designed to honour all those who've given their time for Blesma, such as Philip Monkhouse, injured in Bosnia, and the bomb disposal team who rode from Land's End to John O'Groats, less than a year after they were blown up in Sangin. First couple oh, of days, yeah, yeah, I found it quite hard. Eight um, times off my bike. Hmm. <laughs> Being blind in one eye didn't help you there, so, you know, um, as I say, we cycled badly. But it was a good laugh and we had the, the banter the whole way there and back. There was also a gong for Ben Parkinson's mum. Because Ben was one of the first um, of the new breed of multiple injuries that we've got so many of now, um, everything, Ben was the first, so everything was a, a struggle really. A big cheer for the rugby star who was pronounced dead after an IED blast in 2007, but who now has London 2012 in his sights. All I could remember was waking up in uh, Sally York Hospital uh, from an eight and a half days coma. I saw my wife standing beside me. The, the thing that I remember telling my wife is, let us thank God and let's start again. And triple amputee Mark Ormrod hoped to inspire others. Obviously I've been where they've been and, and I was told by a, a doctor that I'd never walk again and then the very next day a, a guy from the army came walking in my room on, on the same prosthetic legs that I use now and I, I can't explain to people what that did for my morale. Peter Stringfellow presented the Bowman Award to Headley Court in memory of Major James Joshua Bowman killed by a rogue Afghan soldier last July. There were also awards for RCDM in the Queen Elizabeth Hospital and for George Gates, who became an amputee in Dunkirk and was given the Lifetime Commitment Goal. While the event is designed to recognise all those who've been honoured here this evening, it's also the opportunity to make some serious cash for Blesma. As well as donations, there was the chance to bid on a number of money can't buy big ticket items in the charity auction. Lots included a flight in a fighter jet and a day on board HMS Illustrious. They raised around £50,000 for Blesma. Mark, Forces News at the Savoy Hotel in London.